Uh, hello guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, how you can make a project on MATLAB Simulink and put this project into uh, Visual Studio, how you can compile on Visual Studio. So this video will uh, be made uh, in three parts, uh, so I'm gonna show all three parts. So the first part is uh, the computer, uh, the computer settings. Let's uh, right click on uh, this computer and properties. So my uh, laptop is uh, in Turkish, so I'm gonna uh, say the English word. Uh, general system settings. Uh, click on it and uh, click this. And you can uh, click uh, the path. There is the path right here. You can edit. And uh, here we are. Uh, so we will. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, there is a path like this. Uh, MATLAB, uh, your version, and extern uh, bin and uh, bin uh, 64. The other one is uh, this. Uh, so you you have to make sure that. These two uh, paths, you should have these two paths. If you don't have, you can just uh, click uh, new and uh, you can write uh, this on write this path. So we will cl click OK, then OK, then OK. So the first part is uh, about the computer, we uh, make it. The next part is uh, we open the MATLAB and uh, then we uh, click the Simulink project, we make a Simulink project like this. So before uh, for this, uh, I'm gonna show you the some of settings you have to make it. So uh, click the uh, settings and uh, click the solver. You should uh, use fixed step, discrete, no continuous states and one millisecond. Uh, the step size so the next one is uh, code generation you have to select uh, ERT uh, PLC ERT.PLC so this is a uh, embedded coder uh, and uh, make sure that you your tool chain is Microsoft uh, Visual C++ and your version which version you use so make sure that this is this show uh, this should be like this Click OK. So uh, the settings are done. So uh, I make a, a small project. Uh, there is a constant and there is a input. So I uh, I multiply this uh, constant uh, to input uh, value. So I uh, finally the the output uh, occurs. So uh, I I will uh, build this project in erd.plc ERD so let's build uh, approximately there should be uh, six or uh, five or six uh, different um, uh, 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 how to say, uh, c and hash files and uh, one uh, the other file so for this kind of project it, this is a small project, so uh, there are uh, there are not uh, too much uh, files. So if if it has a, a S function or a MATLAB function, uh, there should be some other hash files also. So uh, these are our uh, main uh, C and hash uh, files. Click OK. So we are done here. So this this this. Uh, this was it was uh, it was our uh, second part. So we will go on third part. Let's uh, write uh, this Visual Studio and click it. So for sorry for my English. Uh, my English is not good as well. So uh, create a new project and uh, click the Visual C++ and uh, Click the empty project. Let's say uh, uh, trial. Here. Yeah. 
So click to OK. So it will uh, make a uh, AMP project. Let's wait. Uh, so, so there is a AMP project. So first of all, you have to use uh, X64. So I use uh, X64. That's why. And click tools option and uh, the button and symbols. You have to uh, make sure that this has a, a tick. If it doesn't have a, a tick, you can click just here and say OK. So the second one is uh, right click the header files and uh, add existing item. So uh, the place where we uh, make uh, build uh, um, our MATLAB. So here, as you can see, uh, there are uh, six files. Two of them are uh, C source file and the other one hash file. So this is header file. So we will add header. Pl uh, click the shift for header files and add. So then uh, right click on a source file and existing item. Uh, there are two C files uh, we can add. Okay. So the other uh, settings, right click on uh, trial YouTube uh, properties. Then here we are. So click the debugging and uh, click the environment. We will write, uh, write it down some path. Uh, we will click the, this uh, path. Okay, click OK. Then uh, we see plus plus uh, directories. Click the include library. Edit. And we will the other one. And the other one. So click the OK. Then uh, C general. Uh, not general, uh, click the preprocessor and uh, preprocessor definition. Copy and paste, click OK. Uh, click the linker, uh, linker general additional library. Control C. Add another one. So you have to write uh, these as uh, I write. So click the input and click the addition dependency. Click the edit. Control C. Okay. So uh, we are done here. So uh, let's open our main project. So basically, uh, this is and let's click the other C project. This is the RT. So this is our main project. Basically, uh, the MATLAB uh, made two C uh, files. Let's uh, check it out. Uh, so this is our main project. Uh, in main project. There is a function. Let's uh, uncomment it. So this is our uh, uh, function. Let's uh, uh, press the F12, and we'll go to uh, the function. So this is also in ERT main files. It's clear. Let's save. Then uh, this is our uh, one-step uh, function. Uh, it runs a step, another DNMS step uh, function. Let's uh, press F12, and it it, uh, it comes uh, DNMS uh, Nocta C files. In here, there is an output as you as we uh, talked talk about uh, in Simulink. Uh, there is an input, and uh, we multiply input uh, with five. And uh, uh, 
it made an output so in here uh, as you can see the simulink make a uh, c files so this is in this was is uh, it was in uh, matlab simulink <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, look at here so this is uh, the name uh, underscore initialize uh, let's press f12 it comes here so these are our default uh, values we will command it so let's go back let's uh, save and go back here so in here uh, we will take uh, some uh, number let's uh, take it print f Uh, and the number cool. uh, okay we will take it with scanf So we will uh, write it in uh, input. So my, which is our input input is the number underscore u in one. So we will write it, write it here. Um, okay. So we take a number and we uh, took this number to uh, input our input. Then uh, we run the function and then we will print the. Uh, out the uh, total is equal something, and this is this will be our out. All right, it's clear. So basically, this is all. Uh, we done. So let's uh, clean the project. Let's uh, build the project. Uh, build succeed. So no fail uh, anything. So let's run the project. Uh, enter the number. Let's say we write the uh, five. Enter. Total is. 25 so uh, we multiply 5 to with uh, 5 and total 25 let's uh, make another example uh, let's say uh, 20 100 total is 100 uh, as you can see we uh, make a simulink project and uh, we built with uh, ERT.plc uh, and finally there are some uh, CN hash files so we put it in Visual Studio, then we run uh, this code in Visual Studio. So we can actually we make a, a say, anyway, uh, we make a project. Uh, so we can use this to uh, actually this, uh, these are uh, for embedded uh, systems. Uh, you can uh, make a MATLAB code and you can uh, embed it uh, to any uh, processor. So this is all I have uh, done for today. Uh, this the, It was my first video actually. Uh, so sorry for my English. I'm not uh, very good in this. So I'm trying to make uh, those kind of video just uh, because of let you learn something some uh, this thing actually uh, thank you very much for uh, watching thank you